Good beautiful morning. We are here at a pilot getting ready to start our day and you know what? There is not one person pumping fuel at any of these tanks right now. So it looks like we're gonna have to send this video into Remember the name of that YouTube video that makes fun of truckers and stuff? Oh yeah the guy that makes fun of people that wears flip-flops. Bonehead truckers! Yay! Oh no, this guy here getting her going. Yes sir, at a boy, at a boy. Here, not so much. He's got his uh, turn signal on though, so you know what that means. What's that mean? I have no idea. He's going. I'm new at this, so. But uh, there you go, he's throwing his garbage in the garbage oh. can. Wow. Good job, goodness. sir. Actually, maybe, you know what? I could have spoke too soon. Maybe there's just no place to pull up because everybody's getting in it all at once. So, all right. So let's get out here, get this pumped. And then have a nice shower. Have a nice shower, get across the street, have a breakfast. And we're, trying, we're both trying waffle ice for the first time today. So yeah. It's a new experience. Hit the road running. New experience. Oh, my goodness. He's just starting to pump now. Come this on, Leia. This guy's leaving? Yeah. Uh, let's just back up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to floor it wide open. If I hit a truck, it's it's their fault. It's their fault. Guide me, Maurice. Guide Maurice. me. Guide me. Yes, sir. Let's get it going. Guys, it's me, Billy, and after that intro today, we kind of just drove with the hammer down trying to make our location because we are pressed for time. Didn't really want to take time to record or film anything. But as you can see, we are stopped. Yeah, we are stopped. So the deal was we were supposed to leave this morning, get to the uh, Niagara Falls border. Someone was gonna pick up my trailer, take it to do the drop off tomorrow because I am going to be out of hours here very shortly. However, again, our dispatch kind of messed up a bit. They don't have anybody to take the trailer. So I have to figure something out. Did my dispatch say to do PC to get there? I'm not saying that. Just in case I could be held liable. But anyway, I'm not gonna say anything about that. So <laughs> we tried to get our manifest across the border and um, they did it incorrectly. We're trying to cross in Buffalo, New York, and they sent it to Detroit. I then asked them to redo it because I am about 45 minutes from the border and I need it done correctly ASAP. And they said, no, you said to go that you were going through Detroit. So I just screenshot what I had sent earlier and sent it in. And yes, they're incorrect. So hopefully there will be no arguments. Hopefully, they can just send me the information because I am not driving three and a half hours to Detroit to cross the border because I'm already going to be way late for our delivery tomorrow morning. <laughs> then, oh, yes. then, then, so we are about 1900 miles from Idaho where our drop off is tomorrow. Uh, and then I have no hours tomorrow because we'll be at the drop-off all day. Uh, apparently it takes six, seven hours for the, for the location to unload us. They want us to be in Idaho by Saturday. Imagine. 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 <laughs> Imagine. 3,400 oh, kilometers. You need seven eye openers. Yeah. Well, you just couldn't do it. The truck doesn't go fast enough. No. They want us to be there in about... So a 30, we'll say it's about a 37, 38 hour drive. They want us to be there in, well, about 34 hours nonstop. So those 34 hours, I have to have my brakes in there. Anyway, it's a long ass day and we're stuck here. We're waiting. This, my friends, is the problem with driving a truck. This is why I get frustrated. This is why... I'm actually I'm not that frustrated. I'm, I'm, having fun. I'm making fun of it. It's gonna be fun. Gonna we be got fun. we got there's no we're just hanging out. There's nothing no we can do about it. Nothing we can do about we're it. Relaxing. Maybe I'll just have to sleep and uh, they'll have to deal with uh, the customer and say, This is why you're late. Yeah. So anyway, it's all blurry here. I know, I look, I'm 
look, look at the lighting. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> she look crazy. Oh, we're we're, we're wacky yeah. right now. We're wacky to backies. Anyway, I may be back later on tonight. If not, you'll yeah. see me in the morning. <laughs> it's us again. We're still going crazy. Oh. We just got a message saying that what? yes. There is somebody else going to be taking the trailer to the drop tomorrow. So really and truly all we got is like two hours left to drive and we can do our reset. Well, not really. Listen. It's going to be a day. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to be a day. We're going to have fun tomorrow. We're going to yeah. spend the time in Toronto. We're going to park the truck. We're going to hit the gym. We're going to, we're actually, we're going to try to get tickets to an NBA game and uh, we're just going to have a good day. And then the next day, apparently we are off to Idaho. And the delivery is going to be about four days late. But <laughs> that's all we can do. That's not our problem. All right, guys. We'll be back later. Bye. Good morning. It is the next day. And disregard the last segment because apparently we are now taking the trailer to the drop-off at that location. Yeah. So we could have been there last night. No problem. We would be probably backed into a door by now, no problem. And within a few hours, we would probably be doing our rest so we can head to Idaho. Not now. Unfortunately, they messed up. Dispatch messed up again. They don't have anybody to take the trailer there. So we were supposed to drop off uh, an hour and 45 minutes ago. Now we have to go. We are on the complete opposite side of the city. It is rush hour. We have to go grab the trailer. With no access to any truck stops or anything, we stopped at a Walmart, so we'll probably run in the Walmart, wash your face off and whatnot, and get a few uh, items. Grab the trailer, head to the other side of the city to make the drop. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is probably gonna add to our time with this trailer, you know, probably an extra four hours, five hours. Uh, and again, they want us to go, I guess it's 3,580 kilometers by Saturday. It's Thursday. So it ain't gonna happen. Uh, I told them I could be there. I'm taking tomorrow off regardless. Um, because <clears throat> in, since I've started here, I haven't had a day off, which I don't mind. But that's a long old trek to go out there and then to come back. Um, it's going to be, to go to where I live, it's going to be probably a five day run. So it's going to be a month in the in the truck basically, um, in total. And basically we only had, well we had a, a layover at home, uh, but the day I did my layover I had to go pick up a trailer and sit there for half the day. So I didn't really have a day off. So that's what we're doing tomorrow and for today. well. We're gonna have to go get that crap done. Uh, and then tonight, we're just, we're just going all out. Don't matter, okay. don't matter, don't matter. Let's, do Let's go get the trailer. There's my sexy vest. And this will probably be our view for the next little while. Actually, we got backed into the door right away, so I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Uh, light showing green, but they haven't even started anything yet, so. Um, Nathan's up there, I'm going to hit here, and we're going to relax for a while and figure out what the deal is. Okay, so here's a little update. Um, they did want us to leave yesterday, um, but I was only getting seven hours back on my time, so we decided to do a full reset. Um, that way I don't have to stop or drive here and there and then try to find random places to, to park. I got my full 70 hours back. So that'll get us to um, Idaho and possibly back to Ontario uh, where we'll probably pick up a load and, and head home. Um, so yeah. And uh, yesterday we decided to head into the city. Uh, we enjoyed our day. We've been to the gym the last couple days. It was really good and a nice, it was nice walking around and you know, getting inside the truck for a few minutes. So we've been out here now for a little over a week uh, and uh, we'll be out for another week. So it'll be a good run, good run. So let's get up the road. 
Here we are, two days later. Did not film the last day and a half because we were out and about exploring. Now today, we are on route to Idaho. Idaho, first time in Idaho. Idaho, who the ho, Idaho. Uh, but first, we're gonna get this ugly ass truck washed. Um, it's pretty truck. muddy, yeah, we went through some bad weather. Uh, so, we'll get her nice and clean so we can hit that I-80 and look pretty. Here we go. Be somewhere. This actually probably wouldn't be too bad of a job, you know? Washing big fucking trucks all day. I miss washing cars. So. All right. So, fun times, fun times. <laughs> what do you think? I'm just gonna sh save this for Super excited. Getting under there, getting everywhere. Yeah. Truck needs a good clean. It hasn't been cleaned since we picked the truck up brand new. Although it was pretty shiny that day. It was pretty shiny. What a hello. We are back again, back again, back again, and we are at the Detroit border. Yeah, about an hour and a half. Roughly, eh? Yeah, it would have been around that. Yeah, yeah, waiting for agriculture to get in here. If anybody's crossed this border before, and we're on Saturday, and it's really quiet. It's a long time. But, we're done now. We are officially entered into the United States, so we're going to head up the road. And, uh, that's the way she goes. Oh, so we're driving through the beautiful city of Detroit. Well, we're driving out of Detroit. Um, I don't know if anybody here has crossed the Detroit border before, but it can be a complete crap show. It is so bad. We pulled up to the uh, to the uh, we pulled up to the uh, kiosks and the uh, border patrol agent at the kiosk looked at me and said, "Why did you shut your truck off?" Well. I shut my truck off because if I didn't, nine times out of ten, I'm yelled at, told that I had to shut the truck off. Not this guy. He wanted to make sure that I knew that if I shut my truck off and it's cold, it could break down, which it very well could, or couldn't start, and he'd have to call somebody to tow. So never shut my truck off at his kiosk again. But with that said, I will be shutting my truck off because. Uh, everybody else wants to uh, wants peace and quiet. So that border is just a, it's a mess. Yeah, it's a mess all the time. And today is quiet. It's such a nuisance to go through there in the during the week. Like on a Monday, it's absolutely insane. Yeah. We'll we'll hit down this road here. We'll get to the I-80. Uh, we'll get into Illinois. Um, not sure how much further we can get. Uh, then Chicago area, but we'll do our best. We got uh, 2,000 miles to go. We got a truck that runs 65, and we only have, well, what is it, like 35 hours of drive time to get there before my uh, before my uh, appointment. So it's gonna be tight, very tight. That's considering uh, any delays that there might be, and as you guys know on the I-80, there's a lot of delays from time to time, especially this time of year. And then we gotta go through the mountains, and you know, that's not, we got a pretty heavy truck and trailer, so uh, it's gonna be hard. If we were turned up a bit, uh, if we could run 75, it'd be all right, we could make up for it on the straights, but we'll get there when we get there. We should have been uh, reset and gone yesterday, but with the mess up with uh, the loads. Oh well. Welcome back. Uh, Nathan just had to have a pee on the side of the road. Can't see him right now. But we just crossed through Chicago. Um, let me shut this off here. We just pulled over for a second so we can use the washroom. Uh, we'll be coming up to Iowa soon. And we got about two hours left of drive tonight. And uh, it's gonna be an early one. It's only eight o'clock here. So 9, 10, we pulled over. That means we'll be able to get on the road again early. So we'll get up and uh, go from there. So uh, I'll be back when we stop. All right, so we made it pretty much to the, uh, the last stop before we get to Iowa. We 
we had a literally 20, no, less than that, like maybe 15 minutes left on our clock for the day. So this is where we're staying tonight. Better shut the CB off so uh, nothing happens. Anyway, we noticed here already how clean the truck stops are. All the trucks are clean. It's, it's nice. I love Florida, but truck stops down there are pretty rough, so. Kind of smell like pee. Kind of smell like pee, yeah, so. But anyway, guys, uh, bedtime for us. We'll see you in the morning. Buenos dias, everyone out there. It is the very next day. First thing in the morning, we got a little bit of time left before uh, we can do our free trip. So we're just gonna get a few steps in here, around the lot a couple times. It's actually not that bad. It's a little chilly, but not crazy. And uh, yeah, then we'll get up the road. We're close to Iowa, like I said last night. We'll probably hit up the I-80, have some breakfast there, and uh, head down the road. Welcome to Iowa 80. Let's go in and see what we can find. A few trucks around here. Just a couple. A little bit bigger than the North Carolina one, eh? Yeah. Alright. We are going to explore a bit and uh, we'll be back. Lots of snacks at this place, unfortunately. If I can get some cheese and a monster, sugar free. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to be keto sometimes, but sometimes you're just like, oh damn. And we already had our cheap meals, I had some donuts the other day, so. Oh. 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 That's the section that always gets me the resection. The resection? Mm -hmm. Hey, look. Oh, sweet. You want to grab them? Grab them here. Uh, you want them? We'll take a bazooka gum. Yeah. Oh, more Reese's. Malt balls. Mmm. If you're getting those, get those or get something. Snack on. Come on. Hurry up. Can't do it? All right. All right, all right, all right. What do they got for keto here? Keto snacks. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Keto one neck car. Want to grab me one of those Quest uh, peanut butter cup things? Beautiful. Uh, lots of selection for drinks. This is your food court kind of area. Wendy's, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Dairy Queen, blah, blah, blah. And I'm probably gonna stop into the restaurant and get some scrambled eggs and sausage to go. And we'll get down the road. But this place here is quite a bit bigger than the one in uh, North Carolina for sure. Uh, I've been here a few times. But this is Nathan's very first time. Yeah. Okay. So, let you go, we're gonna pay. It's, this is her. World's largest truck stop. World's largest truck stop. Stopped in and got some breakfast buffet. Uh, Nathan got uh, some monsters. And uh, yeah, so this is it. This is it right here. Um, down there you got the ladies that are doing the embroidery. You can get embroidery done on site as well as your showers, your dentist, um, chiropractor. A little bit of everything. There's church going on now up here, so I'm trying to be quiet. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, famous Iowa 80. 
into the gym. Your laundry mat? Yes. Barbershop closed today on Sunday. And that's her. All right, so what was your take on that big ass place? Uh, almost too much to look at. Just like uh, Bucky's, actually. Yeah. But I guess it was more common than Bucky's. I, I liked it, I enjoyed it. We're kind of pressed for time today. On yeah. the way back, we'll stop in for about an hour or so. Uh, we just, we still gotta do a workout later and have our shower, so we don't really have much time to stop. So anyway, guys, back on the road. Hi. Hi. We are in the middle of Nebraska. Nebraska. We got about three hours of driving left, a little under. So, yeah. It'll be a nice early morning for us to head out. There's some really pretty homes here. Love it. I love it. Really not a whole lot of anything here other than Angus cow, Angus beef, Angus bulls, corn fields, wheat fields, and the occasional good looking lady passing us on the uh, side. This I-80 gets a bad rep, but when the weather's okay, it's such a nice drive. If anybody's ever been out in the prairies or Central America here, farmland, this is what you see for miles and miles and miles and miles. Like I said, you got cornfield, wheat fields, you got uh, some mangas coming up here on the, on the right side. Actually quite a few of them out there, right? They got really good meat in this area. They are known for their meat. They are known for their meat, kind of like us. I don't think it must have been from last night. There must have been some bad weather last night. Uh, we had one car that kind of hit the uh, overpass in yeah, the center. It's, yeah, it wasn't very good. It's, uh, lots of coyotes. Only a couple deer we saw, but lots of coyotes. Beautiful, beautiful. So tomorrow we'll be hitting the mountains and it will still be daytime, so we'll get you guys some good views on that. But for now, I'm going to get back to uh, back to the radio and back to driving. Alright, we have arrived. We are in Big Springs, uh, Nebraska. I don't know who brought their tank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at how rough I look right now with the hair. It was a long day of driving. Is your vision still blurry? We are, yeah. Way too much. It's so blurry. The eyes are getting blurry. We're tired. Time change really kicking in. Um, we are close to the bottom of the mountains. We'll be in Cheyenne probably in less than two hours um, in the morning. So we'll probably get up here, maybe do a little workout, eat, and then hit the road. I think I'm gonna leave the video with this. Uh, this one here was a little boring, not too much going on. Um, so we're gonna try to make the next one a lot more interesting. Pretty tired right now. So please like and subscribe. I'm Billy, that's Nate. Welcome back to the channel.